And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. Whose righteous cause? The cause of the kingdom of God. The Bible tells us here something that belongs to everyone that favors the cause of Christ. That favors the mission of Jesus Christ. And what is that blessing for them? What is that portion for them? It says what? Let them shout for joy and be glad. And I pray for you tonight that as you receive this word, that you will begin to roar and rejoice and shout and be in joy and in gladness. You are on the Lord's side. You favor God's righteous cause. When Moses came down from the mountain, he was angry with the people. And he threw down the Ten Commandments, broke the Ten Commandments at once. <laughs> they said Moses is the only person who in one stroke broke the whole Ten Commandments. Who is on the Lord's side, let him come to me. And the Bible said the tribe of the Levites, they came to Moses. And that's how the Levites became the priests in Israel. Amen. They favored the cause of righteousness. They favored the cause of God. And tonight we see here, there is a promise and a blessing for favoring the cause of Christ. And the Bible says here, let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. Let them say, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of who? Of his servants. It says, let them say, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his children. Which means it gives God pleasure for his children to prosper. Whether in the things of the spirit or in the things of this world, prosperity increase is the will of God. If you doubt it, at the end of the month, when you don't have enough in your account, tell me that gives you joy. 